Welcome to the Experts in Medicine talk series. This series is brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare, leading publisher of clinical pocket references by the world leading medical experts. Today we are joined by Matthew Weir, leading nephrologist and co-author of Contemporary Diagnosis and Management of the Hypertensive Patient. My name is Dr. Matthew Weir. I am a professor of medicine and director of the Division of Nephrology at the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, the whole purpose of our new book is to describe what is new and hot in the field of high blood pressure. I think it's important to realize that higher levels of blood pressure, or the old term we like to use, hypertension, is a lifelong progressive asymptomatic disease process. And it affects all of us as we age, albeit at a somewhat different rate, depending, of course, on our age, our family history, and, of course, how we work with the environment, again, having to do with diet, exercise, weight, etc. So it's important to understand more about, first of all, how very different we all are in relationship to this lifelong asymptomatic disease process. And to ask the questions, obviously, how early should we start to modify the slope of change of blood pressure that occurs with age? How low should we go? And what are the best medicines to use? And again, we have to appreciate how we are all so very different, young and old, male and female, different ethnicities, different family histories. So this is not an easy issue. And of course, what is the best way to measure blood pressure at the morning, at night, office readings, home readings? Uh, should we be using the more sophisticated 24-hour uh, uh, blood pressure measuring devices to uh, look at many more readings during the course of the day? So there are many, many unanswered questions, and there's no complete consensus in these regards. Uh, and I think that's why I think it's so very critical that we have an opportunity to provide some dialogue, raise some questions, try to provide some answers. And that's really the whole purpose of this uh, book. It's to provide a resource so that both healthcare providers and patients alike can have a resource that is topical, timely, and uh, provides some perspective uh, on how to address these issues. We must remember that as we age, this becomes an issue that is both professionally as well as personally important because we know there's a continuous relationship between blood pressure and cardiovascular events. And that is why there is so much interest in focusing attention on many of the key questions that I just brought up and that we will hopefully be able to provide some thoughtful answers to uh, during the course of our book. So I hope you will find that this is a useful resource, an interesting resource, one that you can use and refer back to. Uh, this obviously will change in time and of course as we learn more. Again, the big questions being how early should you start, how low should you go, and what are the best medicines to use, and of course, what's the best way to measure your blood pressure. Thanks for tuning in to the Experts in Medicine talk series, brought to you by Handbooks in Healthcare. If you are interested in purchasing copies of this or any other titles by Handbooks in Healthcare, please call 800-860-9544 or email custserve at hhcbooks.com. All Handbooks in Healthcare titles retail for under $25 a copy and can be purchased in bulk quantities at substantial discounts. Handbooks in Healthcare can be found on the web at www.hhcbooks.com.